how to fit a window into a shed. Well, it's going to be a very specific um, little video. Uh, first of all, there's a double glazed pane which is way too big for this shed. Uh, I think that's about one meter by one meter square. Uh, quite a nice double glazed pane. Here are a couple more double glazed panes. Free to a good home. If you want one, just let me know. Uh, these are two foot by two foot flags, I think, so that should give you an idea of what size those panes are if you wanted to know the measurement approximately. Uh, it fits them into a shed. Exact size is not important. This is the shed. Um, well, in fact, it's much better than a uh, conventional shed. Uh, far more robust, comes complete with floor, and this one's got a translucent roof. And in another video I made quite a while ago, I show how to make the door in the side, but basically it was one continuous piece. It was just a single roller shutter door, and you saw around to make a hole in the side. Now, similar principle for the window. There is the piece of plywood that's been cut out. What you can see is it's very substantial ply, very strong ply, a thin plastic layer on the inside, thicker plastic layer on the outside. And in this case, you can see the burns on the corner. I used uh, a reciprocating saw to cut the holes, to cut around. And you can see that there's a, a series of holes being drilled there to get the saw blade in. And that reciprocating saw just about managed to cut around to give you a hole in the side of the shed. Then, well, the size of the hole is just bigger than the chosen double glazed panel. As I say, the double glazed panels are free of charge uh, from multiple sources near you, anybody that's having windows replaced. So you just find one that's approximately the right size. You might have to wait a week or two until one the right size uh, appears uh, as a result of your asking. I use some scrap timber then, so I was able to frame up around the double glazed panel. Now the problem with my shed is it had been dented at one end and so the top part uh, wasn't flat, so there's no way I could fit a flat panel to it. And so in fact, the glass panel is padded out on timber. But that's it. It can be sealed in like that and you don't need to do any further treatment. But I did, I did something to the outside. Rather than painting the exposed edges of the plywood, I did something else. There you can see the exposed edges of the plywood. If you don't treat that or paint that, water will get in uh, and it will begin to deteriorate. So you do need to seal the plywood. And so uh, there's the window. It's, it's now glued in. It doesn't need those strips of wood down the side, uh, which held it in uh, while I was getting the sealant uh, to stick. Just ordinary sealant. I think I used bath seal in this case. So that's the framed thing on the inside. If you wanted something very high security, I guess you could try something I'd thought of, which is using the piece of wood that you cut out uh, and hinging it and making it so it's a flap so that you can close it. But when I see this from outside, you'll know I didn't need that. Right, it's a, quite a long way up to that window. So it's not easily accessible and being double glazed it's quite secure anyway. Now the thing that I'm hoping to show you is what I've done to trim it off. It's not the prettiest but I have some of this plastic strip which people use when fitting double glazing uh, to trim off inside. It's just a pr slightly profiled strip and it doesn't bend easily. You'll see that this is broken and that's broken. If you try and bend it, it tends to crack. But if you use a, a hot melt glue gun, not a hot melt glue gun, 
heat gun, stripper gun. You can get it to bend to quite a tight curve. The tricky bit is, the fiddly bit is, I need lots of that strip, getting the curves in the right places. Uh, but did some fiddling with that and I managed to use one single piece, cut it once I got it to the right size with curves in approximately the right places. That top left corner could have been better and then I glued it in with something called Gorilla Glue which looks from this edge like just that expanding foam, in fact it is very very similar to the expanding foam glue or filler uh, just to make sure it sticks in, hold it firmly, a couple of screws in some of the places no screws down that far side there, it's just the glue holding it in place. And that's trimmed it off. If I pull back, a window in a shed. The next thing, and you wonder why I've not been doing model railway, is the um, soffits and fascias. And I might say a little bit more about that in a separate video. There's the old the old timber from the soffits and fascias down there um, and a repositioned downspout from new gutter into a water butt made out of one of those 45 gallon blue plastic barrels uh, yet to have a side tap fitted but with the overflow going into the original downspout position which came down here but I've moved it round to the back so it doesn't wrap around the side it just comes straight down very straightforward job really the biggest difficulty and danger is the danger of breaking the windows with your jemmy bar as you're taking the old wood off very frightening uh, what I've saved has paid for my scaffold tower uh, which I used over there. 